morning, world. What? Say good morning, Kelsey. What? Say good morning. Good morning. So today we're going to show you a typical day living in a bus. Let's go. This is me, Kels. I'm a butterfly. <laughs> and here's my extremely handsome husband, Jay. We've been traveling the U.S. for the past four months in our self-converted school bus, Bessie, with our daughter, Pippa. <laughs> Subscribe to follow our crazy journey of low lows oh my God. and high highs that all come with living in a bus as we currently make our way through California. Let's get out, can leave this city. And of course, there's always the non-glamorous things that we have to do. So first on our list is I gotta take out the pee. Job done. Sunday morning. Sunday fun day, and we're gonna make breakfast for everyone. With Joe. The English way. Yeah. <laughs> Quick update. It smells so good in here. So we we're just enjoying that breakfast. Lady comes over. She obviously came to the right place because she's stuck in the sand. We're gonna see if we can go rescue her. Here's the situation. She's well and truly stuck in the mud as they say. The dream team's here though, so we're getting her out. Mission accomplished. Then to burn off that breakfast, me and Joe hit a workout. Okay, now we've made breakfast for everyone. And what a nice breakfast that was. We kind of wiped out our groceries, so <laughs> we gotta leave our camping compound and go get some groceries. My belly's happy. But first, we have to pack up the bus. This is every time we travel. We have to lock everything down, pack it all the way. Especially where we're at now, because there's some bumpy dirt roads coming in and out of here. So, let's pack up the bus. Alright, let's go. Reality of bus life. Sometimes you're going to be on really bumpy roads. Oh. Oh my god, the eggs! Did you see that catch? Oh my god, I'm safe over there. Alright, I'm ready to explore Joshua Tree. Jay, are you ready? I'm ready.
I think it looks like a skull. I think it does. Jamie too. doesn't. Jamie's very disappointed. What is this? <laughs> it's enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> day at Joshua Tree National Park. Although, uh, I don't know. I, just being real. It's an early climax. No, it, I think it's really pretty, but it's just like national parks. There's only so much you can do in them. We're, we're just ungrateful millennials. That's how we are. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to end the day the best way we know how. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, so hot. <laughs> it's really hot. It's really good. Burning my mouth, maybe. Great way to end a great day. So that was our day today, but the truth is, bus life is different every single day. No two are the same. And that's what makes it so great. I mean, some days there's a lot of this, and some days, unfortunately, there's a lot of this and we wouldn't have it any other way. That's just what living in a bus is like. It's never the same, it's not a routine. Every day is going to be different and we love it. See you guys next week. We really wish we could give you guys a more concrete day of what living in a bus is like. The truth is, it really is a new adventure every single day. And most days actually look like this. All right, that was too many. Jesus okay. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.